Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to Casa Naturals. If you're new on my channel, you're so welcome. And thank you so much for clicking on this video to my 158 subscribers. Thank you so much, dear friends, for love and your support. So on this channel, I do share DIY cross like lifestyle, healthy lifestyle, how to grow your natural hair, how to have flawless skin without using toxic ingredients. And I also share reviews and sometimes you go an extra mile to formulate cosmetic products. So you're so, so, so welcome. This video I'm going to share with you should you avoid silicones in your products in your deep conditioner in your living conditioner we'll find out how silicones work in your natural body products or hair products yes it may not be natural but uh, do they really work do they have an effect should you avoid silicones totally what should you do Yes, make sure that you watch this video until to the end. Silicones in hair products form a thin waterproof coating around your hair cuticle, then keeps hair hydrates, hydrated, while also prevent moisture from penetrating the hair shaft and causing frizz. Silicones protect hair from damage caused by heat stools, tools, blow dryers, and hot iron. They come in different, you know, forms. Some are dangerous like caustic, not good for your hair, but there are some which are good like dimethicone, cyclomethicone. They are not toxic and do not actually strip your damaged hair. Should you use silicone? So silicone actually is synthetic. They form a waterproof coating around the cuticle, keeps hair hydrated. Of course, like they're handmade, but you can actually you use friends. them. So comment in the section below. Are you going to avoid silicones in your products? Are you going to be buying products with silicones? Make sure that you comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and bless to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.